Hey YouTube, this is the May update for Project Buffer 2.0. Our goal here is to create a portfolio that you can copy and invest in and grow your money along with ours. I found a number of great uh, investors on eToro and I also talk about them in this video. Without further ado, let's get into the results so far and how the portfolio is doing. So we didn't make any uh, major changes to the portfolio over the last uh, month. Amazon for example is still our top position and Amazon is has risen uh, quite a lot so far this year. So that's why it has a uh, substantial lead now over the second placed uh, position. Uh, we're still bullish on intuitive surgical. Uh, it is taking a little bit of a hit during this uh, crisis the covid crisis but we think that once the crisis subsides uh, intuitive can can bounce back relatively fast so it's still a very uh, strong conviction of ours we have facebook google alibaba and so on these are all stocks that we have high conviction on we currently hold about nearly 4% in cash and we are looking to deploy uh, this cash soon. The market has come down a little in the last few days so we might get an opportunity to deploy this cash. We have a bunch of very high quality companies which we think, which we think will be able to sustain um, whatever may come and will be able to grow their revenue because of their strong modes a strong cash flow generation and because of the long runway they have in their respective businesses so the market has uh, been very volatile it has pushed our portfolio uh, all over the place but so far overall for the year we're nearly break even we're about 10 percentage points ahead of the s p 500 and we're about uh, level with the Nasdaq ETF. So we're not doing too badly and we are beating the major indices. Um, this portfolio is meant to be very resilient. I think, as I've mentioned, that once the crisis subsides, I think this portfolio can bounce back in a big way. The other important thing I would like to note is that many of the positions here in our portfolio um, are all reasonably valued. Uh, we do not hold uh, a position that we feel is very uh, highly overvalued and which could uh, come crashing down if the market decides to re rate it. So we are confident that this provides a very uh, stable and predictable way to grow our money. The other great thing about the eToro platform is that it allows us to also learn from other good investors. And I found many good investors on the eToro platform. I probably found more good investors here than on uh, other uh, sources, for example, YouTube or even in terms of writers. Um, so let's go through some of those um, very good investors that I uh, like to compare against and use as a benchmark. So one of them is uh, one girl, uh, Lena. So let's take a look. So her portfolio has done extremely well uh, in 2020. It's up 22% and it's had a very strong April and May. One of the reasons uh, the portfolio is up so much is because of uh, the strong movement of one of her holdings on uh, Shopify. Shopify has just uh, skyrocketed in the last few weeks. You can see initially the amount invested was just 5.44%, but it has ballooned to about 1237 And this is currently her top position. Other positions in top positions include Amazon, PayPal, Nvidia, and so on. I recently spoke about uh, the barbell approach and I think uh, Lena incorporates that well along with all these stable 
and companies and high quality companies if i may add uh, she also has a lot of uh, smaller cap names but which have a lot of potential for example trade desk uh, trilio and the rest that you see here she's recently added a few more names as well octa team and alterix she usually starts with very low uh, amounts and maybe she will add or, and may, or maybe they can go into bigger positions someday. She also tends to be almost 100% invested at all times and that has also benefited her portfolio, I feel. So she has a sound strategy and uh, she is one of the benchmarks I use for myself and in time, let's see if my portfolio can catch up with hers. Another part of uh, Lena's strategy is to stay invested as I mentioned and not time the market as she says here forget about trying to time the market and I agree with that I think time in the market is much more important and nobody really can predict the market even at this stage um, while well, then as 100% invested and I'm about 96 or 97 percent invested many are claiming that the market will crash and they could be right or they could be wrong but it is I think foolish to try to gamble uh, with trying to time the market. The better approach would be to simply stay invested and of course if the market does crash that is a great buying opportunity which is exactly what Lena did recently. Another investor on eToro who's been making waves is Park Leung and he has also done very well uh, this year. He has also achieved similar returns uh, to Lena but his strategy has been slightly different. Although it's still a long-term strategy of investing in good companies, it has uh, been a little different in terms of how much he uh, stays invested and in terms of how many stocks he has. Let's take a look. So one thing that's common is that he also has now has Shopify as his stock position. I think both of them are very shrewd in picking uh, Shopify. And you can see from uh, the amount he invested, which was just 2.70, it has grown to become his largest position as well. And now it's about 10.84%. He has a smaller number of stocks compared to Lena. And you can see some of the stocks here. And as I mentioned, he generally tends to hold a substantial amount of cash. So much more than uh, many other long-term investors I've seen. Um, so he has been able to time the market a little, it seems. Because when the market crashed, he had quite a bit of cash lying around. And he was able to invest that. And of course, he didn't, his portfolio didn't crash as much. Because a lot of his portfolio was also in cash. But uh, the, the thing about that is, uh, as the market bounced back, his portfolio has not uh, bounced back as much as some other portfolios. Um, you can see that in April it bounced back only about 11% plus, uh, while some other portfolios uh, bounced back a little more. So going forward, if the market continues to go up and if he stays uh, as much in cash as he is right now, uh, he may have um, weaker or poorer returns. So the other thing about these two portfolios is that both have been very reliant on Shopify to power their returns. And they were very, as I mentioned, they were very uh, smart in picking Shopify at the right time. And Shopify is a great company uh, with strong uh, revenue prospects. But uh, as much as I personally like uh, Shopify, I still have concerns about its valuation. Uh, I may be a little... Uh, I don't know, maybe you could say outdated in my thinking in terms of uh, valuation, but it's still not within my comfort zone. Uh, I probably will not be buying uh, Shopify at these levels. And uh, that may uh, affect some of the returns of my portfolio, but I feel that we have a lot of other high quality companies uh, at decent valuations, um, so I'll feel much more comfortable with those uh, stocks. And my priority with this portfolio is also to uh, preserve the cash of our investors. We do not want to take high risks. Um, so I will not uh, be 
jumping into the Shopify bandwagon at current prices. If you would like to be a patron and a supporter of the channel, jump over to our Patreon website and you can subscribe to one of our membership levels. You can also gain personal access to me and also my immediate thoughts and actions in the stock market through Discord at about $5 per month. We look forward to seeing you on the Discord chat. So if you like what you saw in this video, uh, please uh, give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not so for future updates. And if you like the, the general platform, the eToro platform, and you like the ability to copy good investors, I suggest you join the eToro platform. You can use my link in the description tab and you can even get an extra $50 to start uh, trading. So, thank you for watching. I hope you took away some good uh, points from this video. I hope you stay with us on this journey, this long-term journey, and we'll see you in the next video.